So, last time uh, in uh, Black Pen Red Pen's video, he gave the solution to the hardest integral on YouTube, and I'm going to give the derivative of it. Uh, in this, I'm going to use L for the natural log, T uh, as a function will represent <coughs> tangent, and then uh, that's all you need to know. T inverse is arctangent. So let's make let's differentiate this in respect to t to the two thirds x, right? So then we're gonna have the derivative in respect to you. We're gonna have the logarithm. And then that's just going to be u plus 1, and then plus, uh, sorry, there's a negative 1 half there, and right there. So then I'm going to have 1 quarter the natural log of u squared minus u and then plus one and then plus the square root three over two tangent inverse of two u over square root 3 minus 1. Sorry, I forgot that here. Such a large thing. And we multiply that by du dx. From this, we get negative 1 half. Differentiate that in respect to u plus 1. You get 1 over u plus 1 and then times the derivative of the inner just 1 we're going to have plus a quarter times okay, oh, times differentiate with respect mm, respect to the inner right? and then we multiply that by the derivative of the inner which is going to be 2 u minus 1 right and we're going to have plus square root 3 over 2 sorry if my handwriting is horrible uh, it's because I'm using a computer mouse. And then we're going to use that squared plus 1, 1 over that squared plus 1. That inside. Mm -hmm. Square 3 squared plus 1. Multiply by that by derivative of the inside, which is. 2 over square root 3 and as you can see those cancel out straight away I'm gonna have all of this times du dx okay so uh, what are we gonna get out of this well we're gonna have negative 1 over 2u plus 2, then plus, oh, we're going to have 2u minus 1, over, then we're going to have 4u squared minus 4u 
plus one. That's supposed to be a one out of seven. Uh, now we're gonna have plus. Evaluate the bottom of that. Then you get one over, and then you get uh two u squared, which is gonna be four u squared. Then minus two times two u, which is just gonna be four u, and then minus one squared, it's just gonna be plus one. And we have this over three and then plus one again. Well, I can move that plus one inside, right? By multiplying it by three. Then you end up getting a four right there. Then you get a three on the denominator. But of course, you can just move that up here. Then these two are like terms. So then I get negative one over two u plus uh, two. I'm gonna have plus, and then I'm gonna have two u minus one plus three, which is gonna be you guessed it, two u plus two. Uh, and again, all of this is times du dx. Don't want to forget that. And all of that's going to be on the same denominator, right? 4u squared minus 4u plus 4, right? Okay. So multiply by 2u plus 2 on the top and the bottom, and then by that on over there. 2u plus 2 the denominator there, there, and that, there, and there. Okay? Then I get the negative of this, which will be minus 4u squared plus 4u minus 4, and then plus 2u plus 2 squared. All of that over two u plus two times four u squared minus four u plus four. Guess what you get out of this? This right here is gonna be four u squared and then plus 8u and then plus because that's going to be quantity 2u squared and then 2 times 2u times 2 which is going to be 8 and then 2 squared which is going to be 4 and you can see the 4u squared cancels out there the 4 cancels out there and then you get 12u and on the bottom I could factor out. I'm just talking about the bottom here. I could factor out an 8, and then I just have u plus 1 times u squared minus u plus 1. Which, if you know it, it's going to be 8 times u cubed plus 1 if you do the multiplication or if you just knew that already. So then I have 12 u over 8 u u cubed plus 1 and of course both of these by d u dx right? times u cubed. What do I get out of this? Well, three halves u over u cubed plus one. Just just uh, put the du dx right there. 
then so, uh, plugging in, you get three halves and uh, just put the DMDX. Then we're going to have three tangent to the two thirds x over two tangent squared x plus two, right? Or I'll just do two times quantity tangent squared plus that's a one there. Okay. Now we're multiplying this. The derivative of this is going to be right. It's going to be two thirds. Right, two thirds, and then we're going to have t to negative one third x multiplied by the derivative of tangent x, which is going to be secant squared x, which I'll represent by s, just so that this can all fit in one space. Now, of course, this, this down here is just going to be secant squared x. So that cancels out with this one here, right? That cancels out. These fractions are reciprocals of each other. Those cancel out. And then we're just left with t to the 2 thirds x times t to the negative 1 third of x equal to t to the 1 third x. Or in all other notation, we have the cubed root of tangent of x.